Can you run a rooftop air off of solar and a battery bank? Absolutely you can. So we've been running the rear rooftop air off of the solar for the last over an hour and our batteries are still at 97%. It's after four o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is starting to get lower in the sky. Uh, full sun in the middle of the day, no issues whatsoever. Uh, once we change that mini split system, it, that'll be even way more efficient. Uh, we'll be able to bank power, but a decent sized battery bank and a good amount of solar. This is just under 2000 watts of solar at 54 volts, uh, which comes into about 70 amps charging maximum, charging our batteries at 24 volts. Here right now, and the batteries are at 99%. You can see we're taking out 24 amps right now, uh, 661 watts. But the solar is on right now, and it's kicking in, and it's not even, um, it's in absorption mode. So it's not even in bulk, so it's not doing its full load of what it can do. Uh, so as soon as it realizes that there's that much of a load on there, and that voltage drops a little bit on the batteries, this will change to bulk, and then this, this will kick in more up here. Uh, and we pretty much so maintain pretty close to neutral setting. Um, when I had it earlier, we were like, uh, five amps coming out of the batteries to run the solar. Uh, right now, again, we're in absorption mode and it's only minus 25 amps. Uh, but it can do, right now, it can run the air conditioning for 16 hours with what's getting put in there, which uh, in a minute, the air conditioner is actually, it's getting cool in here. The thermostat will kick off, so it'll just be the fan and then it'll gain again on there. Uh, we'll probably take the batteries back up to 100%. And then by the time it kicks back on, you know, it'll drop it down to 99. And so we can pretty much so indefinitely go on this. We'll see if we can see this here. I'll wait for it to kick off the thermostat on it. And uh, I'll show you the settings on that. Just ran for about 10 minutes before the thermostat kicked it off just now. And it only dropped it down two amp hours in that 10 minutes. And now that it's back into regular mode, um, it's charging mode now. So we're in bulk mode for the charger. For the solar and it's putting out uh, 27 amps coming back into the batteries right now at 700 and something watts. Uh, oh, that's back to seven now so that number's going down so we're almost back to where we started and it hasn't kicked back on yet so that's why I said but that thermostat coming on and off uh, it builds up really good and, and we might even be back in absorption mode here. Nope it's in bulk still. So we got 40, 43 amps coming in from the solar right now at over 1,000 watts, 1,100 watts, almost 1,200. in but the amp draw is not too bad and it's going back down a little it's, it's still running on air let me go back and see if we're in absorption mode still in bulk. Actually, I'm not sure which inverter this is on. Not that one. So again, the amp hours on the battery, they're not really falling off fast. 
I suspect the thermostat will kick it back off in another minute or two here, and then it'll build up everything that it lost. batteries are 24 volt batteries so it's set up with 400 amp hours of battleborne batteries but basically in 15 minutes of it running here um, it hasn't really changed and our solar today brought in 7.17 kilowatt hours not a crazy high number we had a lot of thin cirrus clouds today yesterday's high was 1952 watts we only have 1962 watts of available solar on the roof so and it was cloudy in the morning here and then this was rainy 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 partial sun during that day but it rained half the day uh, super rainy and this was crazy rain that day but you see we were able to come back up to 100% after you know this this was a partially sunny day it's rainy rainy we, we got it to 96 last night As soon as the thermostat kicks off, that'll all go right back up. So the air's been running close to a half hour now, and we're minus nine amp hours. Again, that's out of 400. Um, and, you know, we actually ran, this is the rooftop air, a Dometic 13.5. Um, air can be to you air conditioner this it keeps you know it charges back up by the time it cycles back on we're extremely comfortable we get that uh, mr. cool mini split installed it'll be even more efficient uh, and hopefully we won't even see these negative numbers at all but the heat of the day we can run it no problem we actually ran that rooftop air conditioner all night long the other night it was very warm and muggy and that was so it was just off of the batteries and it ran all night long no problems uh you know i brought the batteries down considerably but with 400 amp hours we can do it we have plenty of capacity to be able to do that and then we did get it up to close to 100 percent the next day any minute this is probably going to click back to eight and we'll go from there but yeah so you can definitely run a rooftop air with a nice battery bank and a good set of solar panels so it's late in the day, you know, 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm only pulling in about half of what I do in the peak part of the day. Um, you know, this number is up to 70 amps on a clear sunny day. So the fact that we're only pulling in about half of what we should be, or could be, um, you know, it's well over 30 minutes that it's been on. It has cycled back on again. still 98 percent it's minus 10 amp hours right now that must have just clicked it was at minus nine when it clicked away a second ago but extremely doable you know and if we had that extra you know 20 30 amps coming in like we do in the peak of the day this wouldn't even be affecting it we've left the room twice in the last couple minutes too and then i we were in the refrigerator up front too so that the refrigerator is probably running right now as well These solar panels are from SunPower. They're 327 watts each. I have six of them. That comes out to 1,962 watts at 54 volts. By the time you drop it down to 24 volts, uh, we're getting 70 amps out of them charging the batteries on peak sun. 
know it's windy out here, so I'll make it quick, but we got our Mr. Cool in today. 12K mini split unit here for the air conditioning. It's a heat pump as well. Uh, we'll get into all the features and stuff like that on it, but it's a really good sear. Um, comes with everything to get it installed. Mr. Cool, 20, 22 sear. So here we are, almost two hours now into running the air conditioner. Batteries are at 95%. It's getting later in the day now. It's 4.45, almost 4.45. And we're only down 20 amp hours on the batteries. So the solar is obviously not producing as much power this late in the day. This is, it's still spring. It's only a couple days into spring. So yeah, the power's falling off on the solar considerably. Uh, once the sun starts to set, it gets cooler and you don't necessarily need to run the air as much or the thermostat won't kick on and off as often. Um, so you'll see the, the loads on there, but we're still getting 26, uh, 20, sorry, 23 amps coming into the batteries right now. We're very comfortable and that's almost two hours of running the air conditioner on the battery bank and barely putting a dent into it. 21 amp hours. Uh, and again, we have the refrigerator running and other stuff. Uh, we've been in and out of the room probably a half a dozen times now. More than that, I had to go out of the bus and went and got the mail and stuff too. So really, really good solar panels, great Battleborne batteries. This is very doable. You don't have to run a generator, not making any noise, and you're comfortable. Comfortable, quiet, not spending money on gas. This is allowing us to boondock. You don't have to worry about buying gas all the time. Super convenient. This Victron solar charger is what really makes this all possible too. So it's taking the higher voltage from those solar panels. So instead of just having a 12 volt panel up there, because we have 54 volts, every time it, stop, it brings the voltage down, it boosts the amps on it. So I used to have 200 watts of 12 volt panels up there. Uh, the 12 volt panels would give me like six amps each one. Um, we get so much more out of this. You'd have to have so many 12 volt solar panels on the roof to get the kind of power that we're getting out of this. By the time we step the 54 down to, we're going to 24 instead of 12. So even if it was, say they were 24 volt panels at, at seven amps, by the time you brought the 24 volts down to, to 12, uh, it would double the amperage on it. So that's how we're getting 2000 watts at 70 amps coming in because of this charger. And that's the maximum that this particular one can handle. Uh, but the, the Victron equipment is amazing. You know, you can check it all via Bluetooth on your phone. Um, they have lots of other accessories and stuff too. We have the Victron in char uh, inverters, charger inverters and everything too. But I absolutely love this MPPT charger. The MPPT is the kind that allows you to, to boost that uh, amperage up by lowering the voltage. Uh, it's just, it's a super smart system. The higher voltage panels that you can get, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, just because you're getting more free bang for your buck for your real estate, you know, you're limited on the number of panels you can get up on your roof. I'm actually going to add eight more panels to my roof, four of them that will be permanently mounted and then four of them that can be deployed when we get parked somewhere, uh, which is going to allow me to do anything I want, even on cloudy days. Check the air and all those duels. It's that buzz grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride in that pre war silver sides. Get that buzz grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 held. It's that buzz grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that buzz grease monkey down the road. That buzz grease monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that buzz grease monkey make it sing. He no 
Rose in Detroit There's no doubt it's on down and inside out It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know Get that bus grease monkey down the road It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know it's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?